What's going on, everybody? It's your boy here. I know, I know. I've been gone. Long story short, my DVR didn't run an update, and there's moments where, you know, I'm thinking I'm watching something, but it's not the live version, and the way that the DVR is now set up, rather than just displaying everything chronologically, if I happen to have been watching it, or whatever the case may be, it just flips off the shit. So, and I don't want to sit here and give y'all reviews, because I had already watched other people's shit, and the last thing I need was somebody sitting here and say I'm backbiting and all this other stuff and copying somebody else. Not what the fuck I do over here. That being said, love and hip hop, New York. So, start off with uh, Yandy and Eric. Let me grab the damn phone just in case the damn plane pop back on. Um, you know, that whole thing, <laughs> one thing that I was thinking of is that if they're not married, some way, somehow, she has to have a power of attorney or something of that nature. Which she actually reveals she has a power of attorney. Okay, we understand that. But the fact that both names on the lease, this, that, and the third, you know, it like I said it's one of those things where it's it's truly fucked up. It truly is fucked up, especially not undergoing proper procedures. Now, seeing as how, you know, given my situation, I've never rented, so I don't know the ins and outs of it. You know, so I, I said I don't want to talk on something I don't know shit about. So I'm gonna move past that. But what I will say is before we get into the bullshit. Erica clearly said this is her name was only she can go get the locks changed right back. My question is, why didn't you ever do that? I got it. You high and everything. And you going to see him. You going to run up on her. When she tell you to run, nah. You play it into a hand. You Like I said, you run up and catch her. When the fuck you need to run up on her and catch it. And then, you know, Mendeecee's sister is there. You know, and she's now on Yandy's side. It's this whole rah, rah, ya ya. Steady uh, pushing the marriage thing. Says she has a power of attorney. You know how the fuck she did it. You know, and just the whole back and forth. The one thing that I will say that is grimy as fuck is, you know, she should have. I said I'm one to talk about saying shit uh, on a platform that could you know be response. So I am one to talk, but the fact that she went so far as to say he didn't even want a baby by you. That's some that's some fucked up shit. Because if her son you know, watches that shit back, it, it can make shit go real left between him and the father. So that, that's some fucked up shit, but we'll see how this plays out. We'll see how this plays out. What else? All right, so we got Rich and Ashley. The fuck is this damn moving up? Okay, this is... I don't know what this is. Look kind of crazy. Oh, okay. Look like a fucking horror movie. Oh, shit. I'm going to try to edit this out. If I don't, that's all right. Hey, it is what it is. Okay, I don't normally watch thrillers and shit. I'm gonna have to watch that. I'm just trying to figure out what the fuck this movie is. Give me one second split. I might have to watch that. Okay, we back. We back. I'm sorry. Y'all know sometimes I do that whole ooh, there's a squirrel type thing. My B. My B. But uh Rich pretty much is uh saying that you know she's going to inherit the Empire again. Everybody wanna say you know, here's the right click. Two words I need for us to leave in the fuck 2016. Empire and brand. Okay. Uh, let, let's just leave this shit in 2016 because I don't have a brand. I have a damn platform. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm not going to say my brand. But we need to leave those two motherfucking things, you know, in 2016. Y'all let me know what the fuck else we should leave in 2016. We get, we got a couple more days, like five more days and shit. Okay. But moving forward. All right. But his whole thing is, you know, in order for you to, you know, inherit this and all this other stuff, you got to start from the bottom and work your way up, which I'm pretty sure she has. Um been doing work and whatnot, but okay, I feel you. He talks to Cisco and Cisco uh says to him that, you know, he wants he's not not wants calls that right quick. He has for what is worth made amends with Mariah Lynn and they're possibly gonna work together. Now Rich whole thing is bros before hoax pretty much what the fuck this is, but this is the same female that literally sat here trying to put us against each other break up, you know, the creep squad, or break up the fucking group or whatnot, so you want to sit here and work with said individual. Now, I will say, it would be one thing if Rich didn't like her, da 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 I man, I understand you don't like them, they remember paper, blah, 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 but the fact that she pretty much tried to drive a wedge, that is some fuck shit, that is some straight fuck shit, so I can understand why he's upset, and he even said, you know, that for what it's worth, the person that's been helping her out the most was self, so, with that being said, you don't feel that you need to have a combo with him and some shit? Like, you know, just to make sure everything is GTG. Uh, but, we're going to see how that play out. But, it looks like uh, Rich is going to spill the beans. But, we're going to see how that is. 
and then you got Drew and Bianca. So she wants to roll up on him and say, you need to check your bitch, this, that, and the third, because she can't meet hella fucking left. And my fucking event, this, that, and the third, so you need to check her. He pretty much told us, like, hold the fuck on. Hold on. Hold on. First off, you come into my fucking place of business, so I'm going to need for you, you right here, I need for you to, you know, bring it, like, right here. One, two. And I would have hit her with the same way she supposedly disrespected you is how you disrespected me, so I'm going to need for you to give me the respect that, I mean, you will want your damn self. And, you know, she coming at him love. Now, one thing he said I ain't fucking agree with is she set me up or you set me up, you know, invite me to a fucking um, hotel room to discuss business. Now, right there, if you really finna discuss business with somebody, my um, real talk, rule of thumb is if it's not in the office setting, it should probably be in the public setting. If you really hit to discuss business. And the fact that you were so close that she was at this one where you could have, you know, did this. And he even admitted he let her on. So, again, you are partially blamed. But you can't say that she set you up. Because, I mean, on some real shit, you walk in there and see this, mm, and you just like, mm, it could have been meet me in the lobby, put some clothes on, whatever it may be. So, you allowed yourself to walk into the fuck shit. You feel what I'm saying? And when she kissed you, so you you couldn't do, do that right. Come on, bro. You, you fucking up. And, you know, she steady going off on his girl whatnot or going off on him about his girl. He pretty much said, you know what? We have no more relationship. This right here is done. And it, the shit really hurt her, but it's or from what we can see. You know, she's trying to act and whatnot, but I'm pretending like the shit real. But it's one of those where you fucked up the friendship. And then she's like, well, you better spend my shit. He looking at her like, you don't fucking tell me what the fuck to do. But he told her, look, business is done. We not already cut the record, this, that, and the third. Hope he fucking paid her. <clears throat> Hope she signed that, you know, contract. Hopefully he didn't look mo her ass. If y'all know what I'm talking about, look it up. Ja Rule Lil Mo, all the hook she did back in the day, she get paid for that shit. So hopefully he didn't look mo her ass. And it is what it is. So, yeah. Oh, that's too much. This is too much for a Monday night. That's why I got my drink in my hand. So, uh, Silver and Rich are talking. And, you know, Rich decided that he gonna go ahead and he gonna, you know, spilled beans and whatnot. Now, what I think probably would have been more appropriate is if it was that important for you to, or if it was that important for yourself to know, Brad, I know this is reality television. But at least uh, look at Cisco, you know, Chris go and be like, look, cuz you need to talk to self. So either you tell him within this time frame, bro, I'm gonna have to do it. Because that's some fuck shit for me to know this going on and he don't fucking know. Like, something like that. Not really a fan of ultimatums, but, you know, at least get a man a chance to say some shit. Yeah, we don't know how the time frame and all this other shit. I'm have to use air quotes and shit. But he uh, pretty much talked to him about the whole Mariah thing. Self feeling some kind of way now. I don't know if he said he broke Mariah's music or if he wrote the music. I don't know. Y'all tell me what y'all think y'all heard. But apparently he's been working with her to the point where he feels that you know, hey, they business ain't done. It sounds like some pimp ho mentality. Y'all tell me what y'all think. So, but he pretty much um gonna get back at him. So now we got Cardi B and Bianca Cardi B taking the bath. Bianca hit up, and she just like, long story short, Drew popped up. And uh, on my little uh, motel thing of majigging. And I know it was that bitch Mariah Lynn because old girl said it was Mariah Lynn. Cardi B said, I'm mad my damn business, but I'm going to be there with my popcorn, but it's going to be a, what is it? Child, I forgot. I think she said like a, sh a schmuck. I don't know what the fuck she said, but damn it, it's going to be entertainment. Fuck it. I meant to write the shit down. So now you got Mariah, no ass to tall, Lynn, and uh, she's getting ready for this performance and whatnot. Uh, Crisco walks in, you know, pretty much is like, you know, I want to work with you. She, her whole thing is, you know, because he knows about self and the contract and whatnot. And she pretty much says to him, like, look, he won't lock me in for five years. That's not what the fuck I want. I'm not going to sign a contract unless it is beneficial to me, given what has happened previously. She invites him to her uh, upcoming performance, and they're going to see how they're going to work this thing out. Okay, so I'll make this next part real quick, because it's really enough for me to really go back and forth on. So uh, Erica is talking with um, in DC. He went, you know, called her from on the jail. Conversation when not being recorded this and third. He's constantly telling her the disrespect has stopped. Now he's 
siding with his wife because he keeps saying that I ain't talked to you any about you, this and third. You disrespect the hut. And here's the thing, I am all for, you know, a this is what you know my other half is saying. But again, it's one of those where there's multiple people involved and he should probably talk to all those different people. But I think if Gandhi and his sister are saying something, then it's the buck stops there. And I'm pretty sure, you know, uh, mom and DC is on the same motherfucking page. It is what the fuck it is. But when she brings up the whole me being the slide one night stand, I'm going to sit down. <laughs> Hold on. I mean, DC pulled a straight nigga move and I can't be mad. At, I mean, I'm mad at it, but I can't be mad. I'm just like, you know, a scene is not a one night stand. Well, you and I, and I called that shit. I'm like, okay, okay. Well, like, but what you and I had was just go blah, 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 whatever. But he keeps saying this spread has stopped. It's because of you that this spread is happening and the kids not seeing each other. But hey, it is what the fuck it is. You know, I DC, mean, hey, he going to do what Wacky say. Crisco has an interview at, uh, what is it, 1051 where um, self work, self feels some kind of way. And rather than just go ahead and talking the you know, situation out right the fuck then, or when he first caught wind of it, he gonna sit here and counsel an interview that Cisco has with one of his coworkers. Now, I'm not against doing petty shit like that when it's one of those where it's, this is one of those where they, they could have sat down first and had the conversation. Before he decided to go his level of pay, but yeah, I can't sit here and talk about what people can and cannot do to come to petty because I'm petty to the motherfucker. So, but I'm just saying, especially if there was a friendship there and trying to preserve the friendship. Alright, so Sky and Drew meet up. Long story short, they reconcile. I guess she gonna move the fuck in. Who cares? Morales performance. Uh, Chris goes there showing his support. He said, give him one gift. He tells Morales, give me one meeting. I'm gonna show you what I can do. It is what the fuck it is. And see, I'm um, uh, okay. So then you have Bianca to come in, and you know she just straight up on for the sit here and check this hoe. So they go on the fuck in, and you know Mariah Lynn whole thing is well, look, um, I fuss with you, I'm building a friendship with this one. So I knew this information so out of you know principality, you know and all this other shit. I told her. Now, Bianca whole thing is, hey, you, like I said, you, you. In her words, you my bitch, all right? So that being said, your loyalty is to me. And, you know, I understand that. And then it further goes on to the whole, so you mad that I'm friends with her? She said yes. And then, you know, fucking trade get flipped. Drinks go this way. And then fucking Mariah Lynn turns to the motherfucking flying squirrel. Now, what I will say is this. <laughs> Everybody's different. On some real shit, everybody different. Me being me. My whole thing is this. I don't like I, I have many different friends. And actually, my actually let me, let me take this shit a step back. I already don't have friends. I have family. Like my whole thing is if I can see you, if I'm cool with you like that, we ain't friends, we family. If you ain't that, you motherfucking associate. Let's call it like this me. My thing is this, I can fuck with whoever the fuck I want to fuck with. And you know, even with people that I fuck with, they don't necessarily fuck with each other. One thing that I don't do is I don't carry bones. I don't fucking do that yet. The same exact time. If I'm talking to somebody, don't sit here and bad mouth the other. That's why the fuck we not here. You feel what I'm saying? Like, if some shit happen, you want to give me facts? That's one thing. But if you're going to sit here and be like, this a bomb ass motherfucking, nah, 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 we ain't finna fucking do that. Because I'm cool with the both of y'all. You feel what I'm saying? But you're not going to put me in the middle. Now, if some motherfuckers doing some fuck shit like that, hey, my whole thing is this. Bennett, I ain't in it. I'm going to step the fuck back. I'm not going to insert myself into some shit that I don't need to be inserting myself into. So for me, I feel... Pause this. For me, I feel Mariah Lynn was wrong. Me. Because you inserted yourself into shit that you didn't need to be inserting yourself into. And the end result is, you know, hey, I fucks with the both of y'all. So it's one of those that I might hit some shit this, that, and third. Like, and I got it, livelihood, this, that, third. But Bianca... Did make some a good point. You know, if Drewski was really fucking with her like that, he would have never allowed himself to be put in a situation to sit here and compromise anything they fucking had. Because on some real shit, he could have deaded that situation from Jump Street. You can sit here and let a motherfucker know that you ain't fucking interested. You can fucking do that. It's 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 easy to fucking do. So this one of those where I'm kind of meh, you know, on, on one instance, 
Bianca dead ass wrong because she could be, you know, she can fuck with whoever the fuck she want to fuck with. I think with Ryan Lynn probably should have just sat here and just stay out of it. You know what I'm saying? But at the same exact time, I do understand, man, you've been fucking with me from Jump Street and that whole loyalty fucking thing. You feel what I'm saying? Like I said, it's one of those where the shit's sticky. Play the shit by ear, but at the same exact time, I'm not one to sit here and, you know, be putting myself in a situation. And I'm going to say this. If I'm trying to build a fucking relationship with somebody and I know this person don't fuck with that person, as I already said, we not going to talk about the other fucking person. Whatever plans and what other shit you got going on, don't talk to me about it. Because I don't want to fucking know. Again, that's just me. Y'all let me know how y'all feel. Before I, I uh, go further on with this, I do want to say, like I said, guilty confession. I did purchase one of my, 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 Mariah Lynch tracks, okay? You know, once upon a time, not long ago, I was a hoe. I, I did buy a money gun, couldn't get into it. This was a, this fucking, uh, what is it called? Physical Look. There's only one song that we that we going to rock to, and that's a Let's Get Physical. Other than that, mm-mm, mm-mm. But anyway... I'm still tripping on Mariah Lynn talking about. She tried to mess up my dot, 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 Caucasian makeup. I'm just like, now, I believe the whole Caucasian this and that. I believe, I think it's Joanne the Scammer. I've heard the name. I've seen a little few bits. Again, I don't really watch Sad Person. I think it's Joanne the Scammer. Y'all get me together. But when I heard that, I was just like, huh. Okay. All right, all right. And so then, uh, you know, Cisco is chilling with some, you know, girls and whatnot. Self walks in because he decided he wanted to sit here and chat this motherfucker, which Cisco did say something that I that I understood where he's like, oh, so now you want to sit here and you don't know, talk to him. Cool that. Let's take care of business. So they, I mean, pretty much going back and forth, you know, both of them feel betrayed by the other fucking person. Their levels are starting to escalate. Now, what I will say is if you if you peep, um come on, y'all, man. Come on, come on, damn it. Um, body movements and just how people are, um, you know, just their stances. There we go. Their fucking stance. You can tell. Sit. Now, Cisco had the dominant, like, say the wrong fucking thing. I'm gonna knock your ass out. Stand. Self just had the whole. Please don't hit me. Stands like. Please don't sit here and take the script too damn serious and lunge at me. Don't do it. Mariah Lynn comes over because you know I guess she's trying to reduce situation. Now Cisco on some straight up bitch made shit. And it's like, didn't you say his fucking contract was black and this, that, and the third? And she was like, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I never said that. And she's trying, because she's getting mad now. Like, why are you putting words in my mouth? That's not cool. That's not cool. That's not what's hot right now. And she's starting to escalate. And, you know, she even said, to, is he fucking young Jack on this? Huh? I'm going to get right back to it. <laughs> but, you know, she even says, like, you know, I'm not finna do so paraphrase. I'm not finna do him ground because he spun my first fucking record. And at this point, you know, Self is thinking, okay, well, you know what? Since she knows what the real, since she knows where her loyalty lies, I'ma let her ass live. But this motherfucker know. So he walks off and says, You out the creep squad. And Cisco getting bent. And I, I think he was just waiting for the right, or waiting for whatever it was. I just, just popping the fuck off. But my whole thing is this, because like if you created the Creep Squad in New York, you can't be mad at him kicking you out of something that you fucking... We ain't, gonna, we ain't even gonna do that. I guess it's a fucking hostile takeover. But all I'm gonna say is this. Um, if we gonna sit here and say leader of the Creep Squad, I think Peter Guns, I think we all can agree Peter Guns deserves, you know, that fucking position. And I will say Cisco was dead wrong for sitting here and downplaying fucking Morales music, because regardless of how the fuck you feel about it, you was trying to make a quick fuck off of it. That shit was mad fucking crazy. <laughs> Hold the fuck on, wait, 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 before we close this shit, me fuck out. Oh, oh just me fuck up. <laughs> oh, shit, hold on. Mm. My eyes gonna be good and dry when I go to fuck the bed. Look, I was just saying how Peter Guns did. Uh, he is, the, like, if anything, he lead the creep squad. Like, they even have a fucking round table fucking discussion and shit. He in the fucking center, which lets your ass know something. I'ma wait till next week to talk about what the fuck I need to talk about. But this is Stevie J fucking this is, I didn't see the first episode, but is this fucking intro? It seemed like they just took some of the footage from Stevie and Just look ain't touching it. Moving forward. 
the fact that she's going to laugh at it, and then all of a sudden, Peter God is getting up on the table and sitting here and, you know, putting their paws on it. You know what? I'm here for next week. I'm fucking here for next week. I can't, bro. That shit had me laughing. But we're going to go ahead and kill it. So I think her name is Juju. I think it's Juju. Uh, Cameron's girl having a photo shoot. And it's like in the midst of them doing it, like, I get it like a couple of angles. I like she give me like, you know, a bit of Gabrielle Union in the face. A bit of. Gabrielle Union is still fine as fuck. Even, even though she's still a man's and shit, you know, she fine as fuck. But um, I was like, okay. And then it's her. So Kimbella and Yandy walk the fuck in, you crashing it, to have a fucking discussion. You know, and Yandy all up in her feelings, you know, because they got to catch up. She and her feelings about the fact that um, she wasn't invited to the boys' um, graduations, talking about Asim and um, Mendeecee Jr. So she and her fucking feelings about that. And then, you know, with the whole marriage thing, she went and said union. And if we didn't know already, once I heard union, she ain't say marriage. And I'm just like, hmm. But we already fucking knew, and she pretty much just said, like, look, it is what the fuck it is. You know, and she was saying how he asked to marry her one time before. There was some stuff that she could get into the night before. She was advised that, which we already know, if she was to marry him, that she would have to pay restitution for other shit that had happened prior to their, you know, uh, coming together, their union, if you will. You know, because, of course, you know, my love is your love, your love is my love, your dad is my dad, that type shit. That's what the fuck it was. And she didn't fucking sign it. And you can see where it's just like, oh. So, you know, it's one of those where it's kind of fucked up. And, you know, I don't know who spilled the beans. It could have waited. So we could have this, oh, my gosh, moment. But, yeah, the shit just got spilled. So that's all I got. Thank you guys so much for watching. Y'all let me know what, how y'all felt about this episode. What y'all uh, think about Peter, you know, appearing next week. What shit we should keep in 2000 motherfucking 16 so we don't bring it in 2017 and shit. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to watch CBJ and came and shit. I'm not going to review it. But here's the video for tonight. Uh, if all goes well, uh, check the calendar right quick. Yeah, y'all will get uh, Married to Medicine on um, Friday. I can't promise y'all if um, the Real Households of Atlanta come on on Sunday. I can't promise. I highly doubt it's going but I can't promise y'all if it do. Y'all don't get a review because shit. Y'all think I turned the fuck up for my damn birthday? Shit. It's Hanukkah right now, too. And, you know, I think day seven of Hanukkah falls on. No, I think day six of Hanukkah falls on New Year's Eve. Then going to New Year. I'm going to be fucked up. I'm going to be fucked up. I might, you know, deep fry some shit and show y'all no promises. But that's all I got. Enough rumbling. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. I will see you guys on next video. I'm out.